As of now, we only really spoke about the kinematics of angular motion, and we said that there are different types of physical angular quantities that we can use to describe the way objects undergo angular or rotational motion. So we spoke about angular position, angular velocity, as well as angular acceleration. Now, we still haven't answered a very basic but very important question. What exactly creates angular or rotational motion? Well, in the same way that a net force is required to create translational motion, a net force is required for an object to accelerate when an object experiences translational motion, when we talk about angular motion, in order for an object to rotate about an axis of rotation, well, a net force must act on that object. But the net force is not the only quantity that is required or that affects our angular motion. There's something else called the lever arm. And together, the lever arm and the net force create something known as the torque. So let's look at the following example, the following diagram. Let's suppose we have a door and the door is attached to a hinge. And when you open or close the door, the door rotates about the hinge. So the hinge acts as our axis of rotation. Now, let's suppose I apply force at this position and at this position. Well, it actually turns out the location where I apply my force matters. If I apply the net force closer to the hinge, closer to the axis of rotation, well, our angular acceleration will be smaller. So where you apply the force actually matters. And that's because of a concept known as the lever arm. The lever arm is the distance from the axis of rotation that is perpendicular to the line along which the force acts. And this line is known as the line of force. So the line of force acts in the same direction as the applied force. So the, for this force, the line of force is here. For this force, the line of force is here. And notice, it is perpendicular to the door. And that means our lever arm for this force is this distance. Our lever arm for this force is this distance. So we see that if we take the product of our lever arm and the force, well, we get something known as the torque, given by a Greek lowercase letter tau. And the units of torque are newtons times meter, because force has the unit newtons, and this is a distance given in meters. Now, let's look at a slightly different diagram. Let's suppose we have the same exact door, but now our force no longer acts at a perpendicular angle to the door. Now the force is acting at a smaller angle given by this angle. So the line of force points along this axis, and now if we want to use this formula, we have to find the lever arm, the distance that is perpendicular to the line of force. So if we extend this line of force, and we draw a line from this position to the hinge, to the axis of rotation, well, this is our new lever arm because this is the line that creates a 90 degree angle with respect to the line of force. So not only can we use this formula, we can also use this formula where torque is equal to the force that acts on the door, that acts at some angle, multiplied by the lever arm or the distance from the axis of rotation that is perpendicular to the line of force. Now, let's examine the same exact force that acts at the same exact angle. Let's call the angle theta. So notice this angle is a two, or this force is a two-dimensional force. So that means we'll have a force, a y component force, the force perpendicular to the door, and the force parallel to the door, so the x component. Notice because the force that acts pa or the force that acts parallel to the door does not actually do anything in increasing or decreasing the angular motion. This is the only force that creates any type of angular motion. So that means we can use the following formula. So this 
force that acts perpendicular can be expressed in the following way. Force multiplied by sine of the angle theta. So that means we can take this equation shown here and replace the force that is acting perpendicular with the force sine of the angle theta. So this is yet another formula that we can use. Notice all these three formulas are exactly identical, but we can use either one of these guys whenever they're convenient. So let's look at the following example. Let's suppose we have a smaller disc that is placed on a larger disc and we drill a hole in the middle and we add a axis of rotation. So we put some hinge inside that acts as the axis of rotation. So let's suppose we apply one force, force two on the smaller disc and another force, force one on the larger disc. So notice this force makes an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the x-axis and 30 degrees with respect to the y-axis. Now the radius of the larger disc R1 is 60 centimeters and the radius of the smaller disc is 30 centimeters. So R2 is 30 centimeters and both forces have the same exact magnitude of 60 newtons. So because we have two torques acting on the object, to find the sum the torques, to find the net torque, I have to take the difference. Why the difference? Well, because they act in different directions. So, because this force acts at an angle or creates counterclockwise motion, and counterclockwise motion is assumed to be positive, this is the positive force and this is the negative force. So what I basically have is the torque created by this force minus the torque created by this force. So let's begin with this force. We have to use this equation. Notice that our lever arm for this force is simply R2 and R2 is exactly perpendicular to the force. So that means we simply have force 2 multiplied by R2. Now we subtract, now we have to find the force that is perpendicular to R1 and that force is given by F1 sine of the angle 30 degrees. So we have to find this force and now we simply plug in our values so 60 times 0 0.3 meters and 60 times 0.5 times 0.6 meters. Notice these cancel out and we have a value of 0 newtons times meter. So our torque, our net torque is 0 and that means the object will not rotate, it will remain in place as long as initially it was stationary.